Please welcome Chantel. <laughs> Oh, you're tall. Yeah. Do you think everyone keeps saying that to me? You stand up next to Carol because she's tall. Yeah, I think you'd be quite short. Oh, look weight. at that. <laughs> <laughs> you look yeah. really yeah. Really yeah. Really yeah. She's yeah. tall. Everyone no. says that when they meet me. Yeah. Yeah. They always say that. Because Carol's six foot one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I have in these shoes. I'm six foot. <laughs> Is Preston tall as well then? Um, you must I, be. He's, I'm 5'7", and he's, I think he's like 5'8", literally like... God, you look like a couple of little kids in that oh, house. Me and Amy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Shanta, when did they start filming Living the Dream? Um, probably about two and a half weeks ago. Right, OK. So when was the deal sort of done for all of that? Because you seem to be instantly on everything. I know, it's craziness, isn't it? I know. Yeah. Um, I think it was literally like within sort of the week like of me coming out, everything was sort of set in place that they was going to make that TV show. So did so you did quickly get an agent? contact your mum and stuff and say, can we start doing this? Yeah, whilst, that... no, whilst I was in the house, my mum literally, like, it was going crazy for my mum. There were so many people ringing her up saying, oh, you know, come and meet me. Um, you know, we want to talk about managing Chantel's like, career and, it, you know, when she gets yeah. out. Um, she spoke to loads of people, but then in the end, you know, it was my decision who I went with. And that Saturday morning after me coming out, I just went to see someone and I signed up with an agent straight away. So she did speak to Max Clifford then. There was a bit of a thing going, and you dumped Max, him when you got out. Um, Max, I was never signed up for Max Clifford, but um, my mum took advice from many agents, many, many agents. There was about five or six giving my mum, like my mum advice how to deal with the press while I was in there, you know, whether to talk to anyone or not. But, mm. you know, I was never signed up with anyone because obviously I was in there and it, at the end of the day it was my choice mm. who I was going to go with. Yeah. Mm. And did you ever anticipate what was going to happen when you, you came out? God, not at all. Not at all. It was just, you know, you're in there, you know absolutely nothing. You don't know what's going on outside. And like sometimes you can even feel like no one's even really yeah. watching and we're just in there and no yeah. one really even knows anything about us. So no, I didn't anticipate it. And you did any... look genuinely shocked when you won it. I couldn't believe it. I really, I was they just so... They counted 40. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> I know. Oh my God. No, I know. I've probably said about a million since. But no, you know, I was in there and I just, I was just so happy to be in there. And I had, you know, I had such a good time in there. I had such a laugh. And when it like whittled down to me, Maggot and Michael, and then uh, Davina had said that Maggot was going, I went into the toilet just to sort of get my head together and think, God, hang on a minute. I've got, you know, I've got a chance of winning this. this. And then I suddenly thought, oh, I want to win and I, I was just so shocked. So you, you won 25 grand the minute you came out they gave you a surprise I'll, 25 grand because obviously everyone else got paid to go in there mm. and I don't know you probably didn't. No. Um, so what, how much have you earned since then? Have you earned like a lot of money? Don't, I tell you what it scares me to even think about all this money because like I'll be the first person to admit it it is like a rags to riches story it really is. I was you know I was Come struggling. On, numbers. No, no, I can't. I can't. Why not? No. Come on, it's more right there. No, it's more money than I could I could have ever dreamed of. And you know the. Chance Are you in the millionaire bracket yet? Um, no, I'm not. No, I'm right. not. How far short? <laughs> <laughs> Quite a way short, but it's a hell of a lot of money that I would never have probably earned in my whole lifetime. So you think you've got potential to keep that going? I mean, you know, a lot of people keep saying you've been in the, the, the Big Brother house and it's 15 mm. minutes of fame. It's all going to yeah. run out, or are you going to? You know, I, think you'll run and run. I, I hope so. I hope so. You want to be a presenter, can, don't you, Chantelle? Yeah, ultimately. I'd love to get into presenting. That's one thing that I've had. There's no I've money had... in that, Chantelle. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've had like I've had three different jobs, um, three presenting jobs since I've got out, and I've really enjoyed every single one of them. So you know, that's that's where I want to sort of go. So what about you and Preston then? Oh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> where been... do you and Preston want to go? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we just, you know, we just want to spend some time together at the moment. You know, we're just really enjoying being together. And, you know, it's really early days. It must days, be hard because so there's a camera crew with you 24-7, isn't it? Are they literally with you 24-7? No, they're not with me, like, 24-7. But, they're, you know, every sort of job that I do and, like, most of the things that I do, mm. they are with me. But, you know, other than that, when I'm with Preston, that's sort of our time. You're getting a lot of stick, though, aren't you? Because his girlfriend, when he was in there, and then he came out, and then he was supposed to be engaged, and then he split yeah. up with her, and then suddenly, you, with you, so you're getting the, the, the flack for that, really, aren't you? Well, I don't... Um, what, what do you mean, that people blame me, or...? Well, yeah, a lot of magazines are implying mm. that, you know, you split them up because well, you were it, in the house with I will, him and... I will put my hands down on the table, and I'll say, obviously, yes, that partly was me. Mm. I'm not going to say, oh, it wasn't me, but there was things that they obviously wasn't happy about in their relationship 
So it wasn't all my fault, but I'm going to sit here and say, yeah, of course, you know, partly I am to blame. You didn't do it on purpose, though, I don't, I of don't think. Of course not, of course not. But the thing is, things But are you to blame? I mean, you know, ultimately it's up to Preston. He's the guy who knows that he's got a serious girlfriend mm. and that she's got expectations of him. Yeah. And you're, you're a single girl. So, I mean, does it make you a little bit wary of him? Because he kind of, you know, switched fairly quickly, didn't he? Well, I think, like... Um, a lot of the whole, a lot of, a big problem with Camille was I don't think she liked the whole press attention and because her life changed really, completely, didn't it? She may as well have been in the Big Brother house mm. as well. Mm. Really, as much as much attention as some people got, she got as well. Mm. She she weren't even she didn't sign no contract to say that she wanted to go in, but she may as well have. Um, but all I want to say is like, you could go into a baker's mm. one day and walk in and not even mean to go in there, you just literally want to go and get a cup of tea. Mm. Spur of the moment thing, go in, you get a cup of tea and you meet mm. someone that you end up spending the rest of your yeah, life that's with. true. Things but do happen. The like thing that. is, it's not situation. a baker's. Yeah, and you're person... never going to know whether Preston is with you because Definitely. you're, sorry, but you're because you're a, a good publicity option for him and he's never going to know whether you're with oh, him. But that's the because same. No, no, definitely not. not. Yeah, but hold on, no, they no, have two weeks no. of intensive 24-7 getting to know each other. Yeah, they spent longer together in those two weeks than most people spend six months when they exactly, date Exactly, that's right. And it being in there, he, he With knew some me. horrible people as well. Yeah, I and he say. knew me then mm. as I was yeah. here, hello, Chant I'm Chantel and I'm from know, where But there have been, been instances when people have been kept hostage and they fell in love with their captors. But then maybe that's another story. <laughs> it's not in love with Big Brother, it's Preston. Yeah. I know. Oh, I know. I oh, we've run out of time. It's little terrible. Little. Oh, Chantel, thank you. Thank you very much. Genuinely, best of luck with it all. I thank hope it's a fantastic much. ride for you. Thank Chantel Holton.